Hello everyone. So we are back with this series of lectures on Puri Tara Rato and this is the 20th video in that series. In this we'll discuss about JVP and its correlation with heart sounds and ECG. So JVP, heart sound or ECG ka correlation agar aapko samaj aag gaya. So whole cardiology is revolving around this. So aapko puri cardiology ka concept samaj aag gaya. Okay. So let us discuss about this. First of all, I really want all of you to write this mnemonic. If you are in hostel, to apne wall pe likh lo because hostel to change ho jayega next year. And if you are at home, just write it on a sticky note and stick it on your wall. And before discussing this JVP form, I really want to discuss this easy diagram of cardiac cycle, which I really like because it's my back axis ke along sab easily samaj lete and you can extrapolate every other thing from here. So S1 or S2 ke beech ka phase is systole. S2 or S1 ke beech ka phase is diastole. Diastole me kya bada bana raha hu? Because diastole is a longer phase. If in a cardiac cycle of 0.8 second, diastole is 0.5 second, systole is 0.3 second. Agar systole ko three phases mein divide karta hai, diastole ko three phases mein divide karta hai. So systole mein first phase is iso volumetric contraction. Then is point pe kya hoga? There is opening of my aortic and pulmonary wall. So we have this phase of rapid ejection. And then this third phase of slow ejection. Then S2 aega. S2 ke baad there is beginning of diastole. Diastole mein first phase is iso volumetric relaxation. Then at this point there is opening of mitral and tricuspid wall. So there is this phase of passive LV filling. And then this phase of active filling which is because of atrial contraction. Now what is JVP? JVP mein jo bhi pressure changes hai, these are the pressure changes of RA. Because RA is connected to SVC and SVC is connected to JVP. So basically JVP mein hum pressure changes or pressure wave changes se judge kar sakte hai ki RA mein kya pressure changes or pressure wave changes are hai. And we can then extrapolate cardiac diseases from there. Okay. So now let us discuss this JVP waveform. First wave is A wave. A wave is because of RA contraction ya atria contraction. अब एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्शन कहां पे हो रहा है यहां सो ए वेव इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्शन जब एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हो जाएगा उसके बाद नाउ एट्रिया विल स्टार्ट रिलैक्सिंग तो प्रेशर ड्रॉप होना लगेगा नाउ एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्शन के बाद क्या आ रहा है s1 सो ए वेव के बाद s1 आती है सो ए वेव पहले आएगी उसके बाद s1 आएगी नाउ दिस इज सी वेव बेसिकली हो क्या रहा है s1 के बाद सिस्टोली स्टार्ट हो रहा है नाउ सिस्टोली जब होगा व्हेन this LV will contract and first phase of systole is isovolumetric contraction. So, mitral and tricuspid valve will be closed and the pulmonary valve will be closed. So, RV and LV will contract. So, basically, when RV will contract, the tricuspid valve will bulge into the RA. And when the tricuspid valve will bulge into the RA, there is slight increase in pressure in RA, which is represented as C wave or a C notch. Followed by there is this X descent. Why? Because atria is now relaxing. Then, जब mitral and tricuspid valve अब बंद है, so जब filling होगी atria की from SVC and IVC, so atria और RA pressure will start rising, so RA pressure will start rising, and there is this formation of V wave. Now at this point, when there is opening of mitral and tricuspid valve, so जब mitral and tricuspid valve open होगी at this point. So, RA ka sara blood will go into RV. So, there is again a descent. Because, ab RA ka sara blood RV mein jayega, to pressure kam ho jayega RA mein again. This descent which is known as Y descent. And similarly, again we have A wave, C notch, X descent. So, there are two waves in JVP. A wave and a V wave. Jis mein A wave is more prominent than a V wave normally. And we have two descents. X descent and Y descent. Normally, X descent is more prominent than Y descent, and we have a C notch or C wave. Clear? This is about a normal JVP. S2 कहाँ पे आएगी? S2 will come just before this V wave. Okay? So, जब S2 आएगी, that means there is closure of aortic and pulmonary wall. Okay, so S2 पे there is a closure of aortic and pulmonary wall. उसके बाद relaxation of LV will start. 
तो एलवी प्रेशर विल स्टार्ट डिक्रीजिंग एंड आर में ब्लड फिल हो रहा था तो आर प्रेशर बढ़ जाएगा उसके बाद देर इज अवे Now let us correlate this JVP with ECG. So one thing you have to have to remember that electrical activity will come first, and after that mechanical activity will come. कहीं भी cardiac tissue हो या muscle हो, अगर electrical impulse generate होगा, उसके बाद ही contraction होगा. Okay? So electrical activity will always come before before mechanical activity. Okay? Now as you know, P wave represents atrial depolarization. तो एट्रल डिपोलराइजेशन की पी वेव पहले आएगी उसके बाद एट्रल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन सो पी वेव विल कम बिफोर बिफोर ए वेव इन जेवीपी सो पी वेव ऑफ ईसीजी विल कम बिफोर ए वेव ऑफ पी वेव ऑफ ईसीजी विल कम बिफोर ए वेव ऑफ जेवीपी ठीक नाउ क्यू आर एस रिप्रेजेंट वेंट्रिकुलर डिपोलराइजेशन तो वेंट्रिकुलर डिपोलराइजेशन पहले होगा उसके बाद वेंट्रिकुलर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन होगा अब सी वेव क्यों आ रही थी बिकॉज ऑफ वेंट्रल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन वेंट्रिकुलर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन सो सी वेव और एक्स डिसेंट से पहले क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स आएगा सिमिलरली टी वेव इज बिकॉज ऑफ वेंट्रिकुलर रिपोलराइजेशन सो वेंट्रिकुलर डायस्टली से पहले देर इज अ टी वेव सो टी वेव कहा आएगी वी वेव से भी पहले ओके नाउ हमने एक निमोनिक पढ़ा था ना ये सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल There is a P wave, okay. उसके बाद P wave in ECG. That will correlate with A wave on JVP. But P wave on ECG will come. उसके बाद A wave on JVP आएगी. उसके बाद QRS आएगा on ECG. As we can see here, QRS on ECG. उसके बाद C wave आएगी, है ना? But QRS on ECG के बाद there is this S1 heart sound, okay. So S1 heart sound will correlate somewhere around C wave of JVP, okay. उसके बाद देर इज सी वेव ऑफ जेवीपी एंड एक्सटेसेंट क्लियर आफ्टर दैट देर इज टी वेव इन ईसीजी देन एस टू हार्ट साउंड विल बी देयर देन वी हैव वी वेव इन जेवीपी एंड अ वाई डिसेंट इन जेवीपी सो तीनों के कोरिलेशन में द सीक्वेंस इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पी वेव इन ईसीजी देन ए वेव इन जेवीपी देन क्यू आर एस अगेन इन ईसीजी देन वी हैव फर्स्ट हार्ट साउंड Followed by we have C wave and X descent in JVP, then a T wave in ECG, then second heart sound, then V wave and a Y wave. So we can also see here S1 is just before C wave and S2 is just before V wave. Okay. The phase between S1 and S2 is ventricular systole, and the phase between S2 and S1 is ventricular diastole. Okay. So. Now let us discuss about abnormalities in JVP. So first of all, we have discussed normal JVP. Me A wave is more prominent than a V wave, and the X descent is more prominent than a Y descent. Now the abnormalities in JVP can be first is absent A wave. This is very very important. So absent A wave can be seen in atrial fibrillation. Why atrial fibrillation? Me, what is happening? Atria is not contracting; it is just fibrillating. Okay? So atria contract is not going to happen. A wave will not come. Yes. Then second abnormality is large A waves. Okay. Or tall A waves. Tall A waves come when atria contract will come against a stenosed. ट्यूमर है तो अगेन इट हेज टू कॉन्ट्रेक्ट विद प्रेशर ओके then we have this canon a waves canon a waves means ki large a waves hai but bahut hi zyada large hai suppose aise aa raha tha jvp a wave aur v wave agar ye hai to tall a wave matlab this and canon a wave means this canon a wave matlab bahut hi badi a waves canon a waves kab milenge jab atria contract kar raha hai against a closed tricuspid ball स्टेनोज्ड है तो लार्ज मिलेगी अगर वो क्लोज्ड के अगेंस्ट कर रहा है तो क्लोज्ड के अगेंस्ट करेगा तो बहुत ही ज्यादा प्रेशर बढ़ जाएगा क्योंकि ब्लड तो आगे जा ही नहीं
सो क्लोज के अगेंस्ट कब कर सकता है जब एवी डिसोसिएशन हो डिसोसिएशन कब मिल सकता है वेंटिकुलर टेकिकार्डिया कंप्लीट हार्ट ब्लॉक्स और एवी एनआरटी इन सब में क्या होगा कि एट्रे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर, करेगा अगेंस्ट अ क्लोज ट्राइकिड वॉल फर्दर चेंजेस इन जेबीपी कैन बी before discussing further abnormalities in jvp i would like to tell you that we have uh, this series of ini set previous year question with topic discussion which is going on but the series is available for members only so you can just apply or join the membership by clicking a link in the description or my chats okay so further abnormalities in jvp are we have cb waves सीबी वेव्स मींस देयर इज फ्यूजन ऑफ सी वेव एंड अ वी वेव और एक्स डिसेंट इज नॉट देयर सो इट इज सीन इन ट्राइकस्पिड रिगर्जिटेशन देन वी हैव दिस प्रोमिनेंट और रैपिड वाई डिसेंट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस हैज बीन आस्क मल्टीपल टाइम्स so rapid or prominent wide descent is seen in constrictive pericarditis then this is absent wide descent this is seen in cardiac tamponade last two are very important prominent or rapid wide descent is seen in constrictive pericarditis and absent wide descent is seen in cardiac tamponade and these two has been asked multiple times so all the best guys just try to understand these concepts and try to score great marks in your gt then need all the best